Two minutes and change to play here in the third quarter. Custodio. Out to Penisi. Penisi, a three-pointer. And a push is called here. And free throws now coming up for San Miguel on the penalty. So Ronald Tubit. You know, that's the price you pay when you're playing very physical. When you get into the penalty situation, you give a lot of free throws to the other side. Well, Don Don Hontiveros will be shooting the free throws. Uh, he certainly is a much better free throw shooter than uh, Mark Pingres. Hontiveros, uh, by the way, was just called for a delay of game. He felt the ball was wet, so he gave it back to Joel Ngo, the referee, who did not appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> Joel says, uh, I'll decide if it's wet or not. <laughs> well, Christmas is over, son. <laughs> Well, this TM Tres brought to you, certainly, by TM, Power to the People, but also brought to you by GG Helter Brand, Helter Skelter. As uh, Hontiveros hits the free throw. So the lead back up to six points as Paul Artadi brings it up for Barangay Ginebra. Inside to Ronald Tubit, spins against Penisi, out to Artadi, baseline jumper, that's short, and rebound Penisi. So San Miguel's in control once again. Well, clearly, Paul Artadi is the weak link here in defense. He gives up the foul. You're in the penalty, so he's not only a weak link in, off in, in offense, but he's also a weak link in defense. You don't give up a foul in a situation like that. You give two free throws. San Miguel was not in any position to score. So I think Artadi is a little frustrated now in the fact that he has not been able to find his shot in offense. Montiveros, uh, 79% Salvacion back in the game, replacing Willie Wilson. And Montiveros, perfect from the free throw line. So the lead back up to eight points. 58-50. As Barangay Ginebra, a sudden surge, welched right away by San Miguel. This is Eric Mek, double team. Inside, he goes, and Artadi hits the layup. Now that's where he should be when he wants to score <laughs> underneath the basket, and he can use his quickness that way. Now we talk about keeping the offense guessing. He never now going to the zone defense, trying to change tempo here. Here's Ontiveros, top three-pointer, that's short. Oh, uh, laps in concentration. Barangay Nebra not able to control the ball off the rebound play. Well, Eric Menk and Valenzuela both uh, went for the ball, and uh, one of them, which is Eric Menk, stepped on the line. On the corner, Hontiveros for three. He's hot. He is sizzling hot. Don Don Hontiveros. 12 points all in this quarter. Can you imagine? San Miguel Beer, Nordi Tugade. 10 points in the second quarter. Hontiveros, 12 points in the third quarter. This is a loaded team. They just have so many weapons. Eric Mink, the shot doesn't go. Battle for the loose ball and a foul is called. So what's the call here? Hontiveros will be called for the foul. Here's the shot, and uh, Ontiveros uh, actually, it looked like trapped the arm of Ronald Tubid. Look at Nick Penisi, <laughs> putting his entire weight. Well, Penisi <laughs> did get a warning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you didn't have to do that. <laughs> but you know, that's also a preventive measure. Just in case that uh, Tubid had uh, any thoughts of... Uh, doing something to it's, on to it was meant to be prevented but it, it could have sparked <laughs> yeah. uh, right. two bits uh, <laughs> anger as well it's all right. <laughs> well custodio will be called for the foul and uh, you know every other play here we've got a foul now <laughs> but jj Hildebrand is not on the floor so you can expect ronald, ronald two to get a lot of the possessions here a lot of touches 
Sandeep Jalmajan is back in the floor. He's one player who needs to get hot for Hinebra. Salvashan in total is 0 out of 7, 0 out of 6 from 3 point distance. And this is the KFC taste of the game. Wow. That's the game. Taste the game. With, you gotta taste the game with KFC. Well, you just don't taste the game. You taste the chicken. It's finger licking good. <laughs> the lead is seven. This is Seagull cross court to Hontiveros. He's been the man for San Miguel here in the third quarter. Cross court once again. Dondon Hontiveros drives inside. Inside he goes. Mark Pingris hands off to Seagull. His shot is off with 10 seconds or so left here in the third quarter. Out to Salvacion. Back to Valenzuela. Five seconds left. Valenzuela. Out to Escalona. He drives inside. Escalona blocked away as time expires here in the third quarter. And in the third so 36 quarter minutes score, have gone by here in our quarterfinal matchup. And the San Miguel Beermen hanging on to a lead here. He never tied it up off three pointers from JJ Helterbrand. But Don Don Hontiveros. Got it back up for the San Miguel Beerman despite the threes from Barangay Ginebra. It's 61 54. Back with the last 12 minutes, Barangay Ginebra and San Miguel. It's the PBA on. We start the fourth quarter here with San Miguel in possession. And a seven point lead. Honteveros, he's been red hot. Finally misses for the Beerman. Escalona. Pushing it up out to Ronald Tubit. Sunday Salvason for three. Got it! Man, he was waiting for that. It had to happen. You can't keep a good shooter down. Sunday Salvation. You just gotta keep on trying if you're a shooter. I am wondering why Nori Togada has been sent back in. Well, of course, Don't Tony Tobias has been able to play extended and special minutes. And so with Danny Siegel. Well, Danny Siegel was clipped in the arm as he missed that layup. Well. That's his fourth round on one of the Liberty Games. So the third quarter playing zone defense. Danny Siegel going to the mismatch. Well, dynamite Danny Siegel. I mean, I thought a few years ago, I mean, in his prime, he was certainly by far the most talented player. Yeah, he was rookie of the year in uh, 1999. And his brother Andy Siegel preceded him in the PBA by two years. But uh, Siegel was a two-time best conference player awardee. <laughs> 63 57, the lead is six, out to make. There's one on Lube, tries a three-pointer, tough shot. And Fingers with the rebound. And you see how San Miguel has extended its defense to prevent those outside shots. And it's no easy look now for Hinebra from the outside. Here's Danny Siegel. Oh, and yes. he hits a nice one. Oh, so dynamite Danny. So many players now from San Miguel here rising to the occasion. Valenzuela tries to answer back. That's off right. And Custodio now the rebound. Hinebra has to be careful here not to let San Miguel pull away. Early in the fourth quarter. And Coach Shotakinson likes that combination of Custodio and Danny Siegel playing together. Look at the way Custodio breaking down the defense. Unbelievable quickness. Well, he's Mr. Smooth, Bon Bon Custodio. Everything just seems to come easy for the bonfire. That's right, you talk about igniting the bonfire. Inside they go, and Custodio steals it from the weak side. And it's a carry, a traveling violation of the rookie. But he anticipated that all the way from the other side. I mean, cross court, he just went all the way across the baseline. And stole it from Eric Fink. Well, Mank hasn't been able to find his... Uh, 
range in this game. Now he's scored only four points. Sadly, with early foul trouble, I think it took away his rhythm. Eric Meng certainly needed a big game here for uh, Barangay Nebra. You know, the inside game is so important to complement the outside game. And you know that Ginebra is a good player playing team. Well, Billy Mamarel has done an excellent job. I and mean, he has been the best big man for Coach Joseph Yuchuko in this game. Oh, by far, he's got 12 points now to go with.